Chapter 1. A New Life. You are listening at FameTV.info. Azrael Great Forest, Azrael Continent Lower Realm, usually voices of different beasts can be heard in this forest, but at this particular night that wasn't the case. Different sounds of weapons clashing, sounds of screaming and crying was heard. Leonie de Laval, you have nowhere to go. Surrender and I will kill your family fast, they don't need to suffer. A mocking voice was what I heard when I opened my eyes a second time. A few hours earlier, what happened? Did I die? All right these bastards came after me and I blew everything up. What am I alive? Wah, who's crying? There is a baby's voice. Wait am I crying? Is that my voice? I need to open my eyes. Hush baby, come to mommy, who is that woman? Who is your baby? I think you are mistaking something. Why can't I say anything? Wait are those my hands? What in the f is going on? Hello master, voice. Great. First I am a baby and now I hear voices. No master, you are not, wait this voice is familiar. It can't be, yes master. It is I, your favorite and cutest, inventor's system. So, do you know what the F is going on here and how are you here, well master because of your new dot type bomb, portal opened between this world and ours. This is a strange magical world and mystic energy or if mana, from here combined with the energy of that world which caused lots of modifications in me and a few other of your inventions that I t so just happened that before you blew everything up you finished my creation and were already bound to me, so other inventions combined with me and created this greatest and cutest me. Then your soul passed into that portal somehow got attached to this couple in their lovemaking and you were reborn. Even now I can't see its face I can imagine its smug smile and nose in the air okay I get how we are here, but what kind of world is this? Glad you asked, well from what I gathered. Blah blah I the greatest, blah 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 the greatest blah, somehow after few hours of listening to its blabbering I understood what kind of world it was in general. So, what can you do with these improvements? That being said I didn't manage to check what you could do before, glad you asked master well first why don't you try thinking status and see first function, status as I said it light frame popped out in my mind, status dot name. Not applicable surname Apollon de Laval age 3 dot our gender. Female race. Human level. 1 HP, 55 slash 55 MP, 1000 slash 1000 STR, 5 VIT. 3 INT, 200 AGI. 4 DEX, 5 DEF. 3 LUK, 2 ATTRIBUTE POINTS. 0 SYSTEM POINTS. 0 PROFESSION, AFFINITY DOT KNOWLEDGE. 100%, LOW DOT MORTAL RANK, SYSTEM, WHAT'S WITH THIS STATS? MASTER HOW WOULD I KNOW THEY'RE YOUR STATS? Well I get why INT is so high compared to others but what is wrong with MP and LUK? Is my luck that bad? It seems like that, but you could raise it with system points in the future. As for the MP well isn't it good that it's high? If I am not wrong even your HP is really high compared to newborns, well I guess since it good it fine. Then, what about this affinity knowledge? By my data there are five kinds of affinities. Common, uncommon, rare, ancient, and primordial. Knowledge is a rare type of affinity. In this world every child is born with one having a rare type of affinity is well not a common thing. You will receive more affinities as you get stronger. So, should I show you next features? Yes, shop, database, allies, item box, so, if I am guessing correctly, I can buy things with points in the shop, and I can store things in the item box but what's other too? Well you are correct master you can buy things in the shop but you can also sell things, you are also right about item box but even though space is not limited you can't store living things at least not now, but when you grow stronger that's possible. As for the database it's exactly what it says, there is all kinds of knowledge from your previous world and you can freely find any data in it. Data will grow as I add information from this world with time. 
Last thing, allies, it will show you information and loyalty about people you will have under you, it's pretty good, of course, master. I am pretty amazing after all, you created me but that's not all in the future when you grow stronger, I will also be updated and gain new features, well that's great, thou that will have to wait till I grow up a bit after all I am a baby right now, alright what is going on while I am talking to you. Well to the outsiders you appear to be asleep, but you can talk to me in your mind even when you are awake. Ah uh, master not good, system scream alerted me, what's wrong? Master your luck is really not good you were just born and someone is trying to kill you and your family, what? I decided to open my eyes and I heard a mocking voice. Leonie de Laval I warned you. It's all your fault for offending me now watch as your family dies man looked pretty handsome, in his twenties good built. Ah hello handsome that a man called Leone, who is supposed to be my father was holding me in one hand while in the other he held a beautiful long sword and was slashing at people who were on his way, ah my father is so handsome. Ag, that's not right system what's going on? Master I don't know fully, but if I am not wrong where we are right now is a forest in lower realm while your family is from upper realm and so is that man. I don't know why they were here but you were born in the forest, and right after that this man attacked your family. Your father and you were separated from your mother and others, ah my luck, my shit luck my father finally managed to escape from the sea of killers while carrying me but people were not too far away from us and why father stopped and placed me in the bushes to hide me. Baby your daddy will get rid of some aunt and will be back in a sec okay. Be a good girl and don't cry, I will be back before you know it. He then smiled at me and put a jade stone in my hand. Hearing this I wanted to roll my eyes, what am I a baby, but then I understood the irony. It will protect you from animals, hold it tight. He said as he handed me a jade piece, then took my blanket and held it like he was holding someone in it, as if remembering something he turned around. Baby don't cry, I just need a drop of blood. He dripped a drop of my blood on a jade stone and smiled at me again. I will be back very soon. I love you. He kissed my head and run away. In a few seconds I heard voices. He's there, get him. Where will you run now? I heard that cold voice again. Kill him. Then there were sounds of fighting in different voices. No. Oh. Get him. My lord, he was heavily wounded almost dead and now he fell into the ghost valley, there is no way he would have survived. Damn it I should have tortured him myself but he died so easily. After some time, there was another voice. My lord, we found a life jade it's newly made that man dropped it accidentally. It must be his daughter's. Find her, she should not be too far away. If I can't torture your father, I will just torture you, blame it on him. Ah uh, now I am in a deep shit, damn you father didn't you say you were going to get rid of ants? Master it's not his fault your luck is just too bad and it even affected his, shit, here she is my lord I found her, double shit. System put the stone, my father gave me into the item box. You just need to think and it will go in, in a second, the stone in her hand disappeared and she saw a man coming her way when he got close, he picked her up and said, if you want to blame someone blame your father. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.